rise to trials and tribulations. I don't even know what episode we're on, but it doesn't matter because we are here with Teresa. Teresa, it's me. We're at Studio E. We are. This is your this is your spot. It's my baby. Tell us about it. So Studio E is <laughs> it's it's a music school. Uh, it's a music and arts institute. It is. I mean, I kind of hesitated saying what it is because ultimately what it is is a safe haven for individuals that. to come and learn music through amazing positive energy, inclusivity, fully loved, fully embraced. It is a hub for creative people to come and share their love for what we love. And we just, uh, we've been open for 12 years now and um, we love our Studio E family. Sometimes people leave and come back, but we're always home for them. So uh, what are we? We're people's music family is what we are. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I was taking a little tour earlier before we like set up film. We have like a band yeah. over here. So we have our band room. Preschool for theater. Our preschool is all music, yeah. <gasps> yeah. And theater, I mean theater is in everything. Right. What we're doing is theater. theater. Mm -hmm. And then we have like one-on-one. -on -one one on one lessons, yep, and then also group lessons. Yeah. And then you have, you, this is the room that we were in two years ago. That's right, that's my room, it's the vocal compass room. Um, I teach uh, lessons in there and, and um, practice Reiki on clients, and that's where the magic happens, I guess. That's what and, you say. Yeah, and it was. Like, mm -hmm. our experience when I first met you, I was like, I felt like I knew you forever. And I walked in there and you taught me so much, and I remember still, I was like, my throat chakra was so tight. close and yeah. tight. And I, the best was that video you sent me. I'm like, who's sending me this video? And you're like, just bouncing. What song was it that you were singing? I don't even, oh. Um, it's a Whitney song? No, 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 It was, uh, way down we, we go. go. Oh, oh. And I was like, and I was like, never, I'm I like, was, oh, I do that. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> because like before you, like, so for those of you like that don't know my like history, like, Music was what I did mm -hmm. for like forever. Music is what you do. It's what I do. It's in my blood. Mm -hmm. And when I came to see you, I was like, it's been 10 years. Yeah. I'm not like using it every day. I'm not practicing. I'm not warming it up. I don't have the range or the voice that I used to have. But that's what happens when you stop doing something. Mm -hmm. you it's have all muscle to memory. It's me conditioning, right? So, I mean, ultimately, I don't everybody in this world knows how to sing we yeah. we it's a natural instinct that we have for just like speaking my job is not to teach people how to sing it's my, my job i made my job to be able to teach people how to use their body when they're singing yeah because we're all made with the same mechanism mm -hmm. and our bodies work one way and there are different ways to be able to condition the body but ultimately body is physics and a lot of science and a lot of energy and so when you put the two together and you have your technical um, the technical aspect of, of using the vocal mechanism the larynx and how the vocal cords work along with our acoustics um, and you mix that with the energy uh, for instance like you know the physical laws like Newton's law mm -hmm. the third law which is every action has an opposite reaction if you combine the two and balance your body that's the, That's the keyword today. today. That's the intention Balance. today. Balance. Um, then you're capable of being able to use your body when you're singing in the most optimal way. And therefore, it'll allow your vocal cords to stretch and sing your highest notes and be able to support those strong notes and support low notes and weak notes and whatever notes you want. It's ultimately being able, understanding your body. It's understanding how your body works while you're doing anything. Yeah. Um, and just like the little, well, they're not little because they're key components to singing, but even when you said enunciating like vowel sounds, like all those details Again, it's were, all distribution of energy, yeah. right? So, I mean, like anything, there's got to be, again, a balance. And, <laughs> you know, a, a, too much of anything is not good. So when everybody's energy is directed at a certain, you know, direction, and there's way too much energy at that direction and separating it to me makes the most sense because I mean if we're speaking and we're using vowels and consonants and you know the placement of vowels if your placement of vowels is 
is interfering with the energy of the consonants, then you're going to get an imbalance or an unbalance. Um, so therefore, distributing that, that's going to balance out your body, which is going to balance out your voice. So, yeah. I mean, what I've noticed, and, and I'm really grateful to be able to have been able to come up with this, um, and I, I just kind of pause there for a second because I feel really blessed, obviously, <laughs> and I'm super humbled about it. But um, yeah, there's my moment right there. I love see, but what you've created is like. But what I've noticed over the last few days in teaching what I did teach this weekend, which we'll talk about, is that anybody in the world that has learned any technique ever, they can use my technique and it'll enhance anything. Like anybody can use it. Any one person. With no matter if they're saying classically or music theater. Or you have tears in your I eyes. I know because I when you said that because I'm not gonna cry today because every time I'm with you, like which has actually only been twice, but I feel like you're always around, which sounds really weird. <laughs> so that's weird. I'm sorry. But when I met you and when we did everything we did, like I felt like you gave me my voice back, which has been um, like I just felt like somebody had their hand around my throat for a decade. The only person that had their hand around their throat. Was you. Yeah. Right. And then I was like, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think this is like, I'm off, obviously coming off of, of a huge weekend and, and I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did, you know, I did pretty much do nothing yesterday. <laughs> I really, I did t take a me day yesterday. Yeah. Um, it was still, and I'm still, you know, recovering and that's super important as well to understand that recovery is, is important too. But, um, just, Yeah. I mean, and I think that's probably why Studio E works is because that, that's the intention that it's based upon is that, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you do, what you sound like, what you choose, what you love, what you hate, what you, anything. When you come in here, we're going to give you a sense of balance. Yeah. You know, because when you're here, you're unconditionally embraced. And I think that's what the world needs most. Oh, 100%. I mean, it can't go, you can't go wrong with it. You no. really can't. Like, how can you cause any type of harm by, by feeling, you know, embracing and, and just uh, uh, allowing people to be who they are and authentic, like authentically, authentic. right? Oh, yeah. You can't ever go wrong. I, I just, you know, I'm... Over the last few years, I've just thrown any garbage out the window, like anything negative, like ego and, 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 and material and, uh, you know, anything. I mean, that may mean something to somebody and that's okay. Like, I'm okay with that. But for me, it just doesn't make a difference. Like, uh, for me, I just, I want to feel whole. I want to feel, I, I want to feel neutral. I want to feel light. I want to feel you know, loved, obviously everybody needs to feel loved, and, and I'm sure. I just want to feel authentic, and, and I think the only way to do that is to re remove any type of boundaries for yourself, um, and then as you shift, everything around you shifts, and I yeah. think that's, again, when we go back to the studio and my teaching, and I think that's probably why it works, because that's the way I lead my whole life, like that's what I do when I walk into my room, that's what I do when I'm texting, that's what I do when I'm cooking, when I'm, you know, walking my dog, when I'm, you know, hugging my kids. It's just always the same thing. But, I know. So Don't get me wrong. Oh my gosh. I have terrible days sometimes. <laughs> We're human. Like I it cried happens. this morning. I cry a lot. <laughs> it's called it's called It's like it's a release. Like, release. Like it's it's yeah, it's sometimes being vulnerable it's going to make you emotional and, and yeah I do I have bad days like I've gone through 43 years of mental illness like it's not going to go away one day no. or one year or, you know one decade it's just it's something that I work on on a day to day basis it's just that I'm at my best self right now and, like than ever and that just means maybe that tomorrow I'm going to be even my better self yeah. the next day I'm going to be even a better self so yeah it's just I ain't perfect that's for sure no, what but is. there's, I don't know what perfect is to be. But I don't, that's the thing. It's another societal norm thing where what 
why do you have to fit in a specific box? Yeah. Who made the mold? Who made the mold? So you're talking about a conference. So tell us mm. everything about this conference. It was super oh, impactful. Oh my gosh, it was so the energy of it. Uh, so it is a conference called the World Voice Teachers Conference. It is uh, based out of Malaga, Spain, and uh, it's modern voice training that puts it on. Um, so basically, I was um, the producer of, of the uh, conference reached out to me uh, last year. Actually, it was just too late because they had already, they had already uh, hired teachers. But uh, this year, I was reached out to and, and asked to to be one of the master teachers in in the conference. And my God, what a what an honor because like you know I would learn from those teachers that I was teaching I would totally learn from yeah. them you know and I did learn a lot from them for sure but the fact that you know I was able to represent Canada and because I was the only Canadian teacher um, well the best of the best oh, oh there's some great there's some, <laughs> there's some great teachers in Canada take a call okay <laughs> but <laughs> <You're> like, okay <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, but, you know, my, no, know. my colleagues I that know. do teach out there, they're pretty amazing. And you know who you are. I know. I have I a lot know. of respect for them. Uh, I, I mean, I'm different, right? I'm yeah. unconventional. And, and so and everybody really does something different. So if I'm going to call, you know, what I do unconditional, then that's got to be part of it too. Yeah. Right? And non-egoic, that's going to be part of it too. But, yeah, I, I was uh, one of the teachers this weekend. I met so many of my colleagues who were just phenomenal. I met teachers from the U.S., um, from uh, Italy, uh, Asia. It was uh, unbelievable. France, a lot of them were from France, uh, Spain. It was just unbelievable. So I, it was a three-day conference. The first day was full interviews. The second day, I went right into. Uh, so I did a two-part webinar series, three hours each. Um, so the first uh, webinar was the vocal compass, so my technique, the technique that I, I developed, uh, and I got to teach that to the whole world. So there were there were uh, attendees from over 30, I think 34 countries, uh, different countries, and we were all in different time zones. Some people were like super tired, some people were just wide awake. I was pretty lucky. My conferences were like between 11 and 5. I, I'm, yeah. I think I got really super lucky. Um, but, uh, so I did a three part series twice. So one webinar for three days and then the other webinar for three days. So I got to do two webinars and then on Saturday and Sunday, I got to teach six, 12 private students. But I, when I was teaching, I got, had the whole congregation watching, which was super cool, uh, because everybody got to learn in every single different lesson. Yeah. Um, and I got to teach teachers. Uh, I got to teach teachers how I teach. And now I'm really excited about being able to share my knowledge with those teachers so that they can make life simple for their students and make them authentic and balanced. So if I were to ask you, are you ready for this? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm going to use my own show. What okay. was your trial and tribulation of this weekend? Um, okay. Well, I'm going to be completely... Uh, open and vulnerable because that was my intention today um, and I think a lot of other vocal coaches or anything any anything that you do you can probably relate to this but always looking at because here I am in a room well I'll, we'll call it a room it's a zoom room but it's now a room <laughs> oh, what have we gone to but um, a room with let's say 150 vocal teachers around the world right we all do the same thing but who's who's is right and who's is wrong and whose is valid and whose is unvalid. So really, you know, I found myself a few times when I was teaching, catching myself and thinking, okay, is somebody gonna judge me for saying this? So I had to really process that quickly and just like, nope, this is what you believe. This is what you believe is right for the person that's in front of you right now, so you go forward. Anybody has questions about that, maybe be open to them contacting you and learning a different way, and that's good. So I had to get over I mean, not only the validity of what I do, mm -hmm. uh, but allowing myself to be open to criticism, which I am totally open to, um, and and you know, allowing the fact, allowing the circumstance of being judged by others, 
whether it be positive or negative, and knowing that it's not mine. And me feeling that possibly being judged may be a projection of, projection of self. Because I just self-judge, right? Mm -hmm. So that was a definitely a trial and tribulation for me. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, I always went back to, uh, my intention is to do what I need to do in this moment in time to help and better a person and their vocals and their teaching ability. And that's what I kept going to. And I think being able to pro like processing that through my mind while I was conferencing was probably one of the exhaustion points for me. Because that's a lot. Yeah. Just to continually... Because not only was I kind of coaching others, I was kind of coaching myself as I was coaching others. Right? Yeah. So it was kind of... And I, I mean, that's... Like a double-edged sword. It, it, it is. But the sword gets duller and duller as you practice it. Yeah. And speaking of... And it's shiny. shiny. It's so shiny. And then oh, this. Yeah. So you can always refer to this. I could. I could. Tell us about this. So that is Vocal Compass. Uh, that is my first edition that was released in August of, two, no, sorry, May, May of 2018. Um, Vocal Compass uh, basically outlines the technique. It's obviously oh, yes, it being is. called the compass, right? It's the four directions, uh, four components of, of uh, directions that we use while we're singing, mm -hmm. speaking, anything. Yeah. Um, I look at that and uh, that's old me, right? New me's yeah. coming August uh, 1st. Yes, and you're, it's just getting printed. It is. I just finished, uh, we're just in the editing process right now, but I just finished the graphics for that. And uh, I, I'm sure this is where we can put up the graphics of the new of <laughs> right, the book. Right, right here. 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 Good. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. good. <laughs> it was good. So um, it's getting printed. It's getting printed. <laughs> uh, it'll be released on August uh, 1st. But we are, I mean, I'm taking, um, so my website's all up and running. Uh, we are taking pre-orders. We have a load of pre-orders right now coming in from all over the world. Um, which is phenomenal. Um, so you can pre-order at uh, thevocalcompass.com. And so what's the difference between this one and the new one that's coming? Because you, like, this is the old you. Yes, this is old me. But the same me. I accept this person with all my heart and move forward, you know. Yeah. Because um, this person's part of me. 100% part of my experience. And if you didn't go through that, you wouldn't be where you are today. That's right. So the difference is, is that uh, this particular one, although it has some health components to it, the new book is going to talk about uh, more of the energy um, sector of humanity and, and living. Uh, because I really do incorporate a lot of that into my lessons, as you know. Yes. Um, I mean, energy is real, and energy is is where things are at right now. So we've you know we've gone there, and it just really helps heal, right? So uh, balancing, and then the energetic component is going to be attached to it. So what we're calling it is the whole compass two point um, mind, body, and voice. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, incorporating my Reiki practitioner. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. And we're going to touch base on that as well. But since we're on a book thing. Mm. Oh, yes. that's So that's something. Oh, that was fun. So <laughs> one of my longtime students, Krista Lee, I taught her when I was 18. Yeah, 18. Krista Lee is an actress. And she is, um, she works for Working Moms on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And Which is like one of my favorite shows ever. So funny. Like, oh, my God. Irene Reitman is like super, super funny. Oh. I, you know, I feel like they, they, all of those people lived in my home when I was being a mother and yeah. I, I'm still a mother, but at that level of motherhood where it, yeah. I was just having babies and having three children under the age of five and, and you. you know, being you know, attached to a pump and, and diapers and no bras and like all of that. Yeah. Just like, and crying all the time. time. <laughs> non-stop crying uh, and wanting to build a, a career while you have that right that's huge so this book here uh, is a compilation of, of um, beautiful entrepreneurial moms uh, there's 20 moms in here that have gone through trials and tribulations of uh, life experience and I was you know blessed enough to be asked to be one of those chapters and of course when I went to pick up the book I was chapter 11 and you're like ah, 11 and I kept saying oh, wow I hope I'm 11 I hope I'm 11 I hope I'm. 
and I was chapter 11. I don't know why, but I just wanted to hey, be chapter 11. But you 11. see, like, you look at all my Instagram stories. I'm constantly screenshotting all my double numbers. Yeah. yeah. Always. That's what yeah. I do. And that's a whole other that's a interview. But <laughs> this particular one. Anyway, so this is my life story. This is how I, what I went through, my motherhood, me, te you know, me teaching at the same time, me going through... A divorce me going through everything that I had to go through to be here right now that that's that book mama's got to work this can be found anywhere Amazon like it's won an award it's a book but we, we won a book excellence award uh, we've we're like on top like seven top Amazon lists it's crazy the women have worked super hard and, and I'm just I that is it has a piece of my heart for sure and I'm like it's such a proud like woman empowerment moment for me is because I know through my stages, I call it a stage of transition. Mm -hmm. I had a big jump where for the past decade, I was living a life that wasn't authentic. Right. It was, yes, mm -hmm. I did the marriage route. And it I happens. Did the, it happens. And I raised children and I'm still raising children. Yeah. But always a part of me was yearning. That thing that's the best. I was like, I knew I wasn't. It's when you're living for other people rather than for yourself. But turning that around and living for yourself so that other people you can live for. And that was the really hard thing that I'm experiencing now is that I find myself I'm losing everyone around me, but then I'm gaining others. And you're I'm, attracting what you're holding. Yeah. And sometimes, so even many, especially lately, there's been people that I've attracted that haven't been good for me, but it's because the universe is really trying hard to teach yeah, me lessons. Yeah, definitely not learning that lesson. I'm I not learning. learning and I know. Yeah. Two years ago, you're like, okay. And you brought it up two years ago. And it's something that, and look at me, I'm instantly like, what happened to me as to like, is it this, is it this? And, I'm, and I was like, that, that has to go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because the point is that I need to be, I'm worthy. I am worthy. I have value. I am enough. Yeah. And the universe is like, oh, all right, well, she didn't learn it here. So we're just going to give her this person and this experience. Well, the thing is, is it, I mean, when you're saying I am worthy, I am enough, like what's the truth? What? What's the abundance in that mean? Like, what does that mean to you? Where's the weight in that for you? The weight in it usually comes from the actions. And mm -hmm. if your actions don't match your thought process, then it, exactly you're gonna go through it over and over. I, I'm living proof of that. Like, I am total living proof of that. That your actions will follow your energy. Whatever energy you hold, the actions it, it happens. Like, if you're so I, I am one with the universe. I do yoga. I'm, religious I'm anything and then your actions don't follow that oh, that's, and then it's never it's that's an and you're not even living it. yeah an unbalanced and a not authentic non-authentic life thank you because your thoughts I mean I still I still work through that on a day-to-day -day basis like there's so many components to my life and then of course you know the world had to add a pandemic to those components and then we're going through like so many different things it's just like it's never ending. It's a never ending growth. Yeah. And I think my core is that if I don't have self love, then nothing else, I won't experience the value. I won't experience the. Um, it starts with you. It, it starts it's with me. us. Yeah. And I was doing an, in, no, it was on the shot. And not an interview. It was on the shot. And I had to judge Patrick James Clark. Yep. Yeah. And he was talking about his family, and I instantly cried Aww. because his family, he was like, they've always had, they're always in my corner. And then that, it just struck me. And I was like, oh, it like, I started bawling. I was like, I'm going to come back to that. Like, what makes that part so charged? Did I feel that alone my whole entire life? That, that was just something that like. I was like, I have so much, like, I just have to get to know myself, my inner child. Just get on that bed. Let's, <laughs> let's take it to the Reiki room. <laughs> um, yeah. It, I mean, remember, our past doesn't define us, right? It's what we choose now and how we move forward that, that, really, that really makes us who we are. Um, I'm a totally different person than I was yesterday and the day before. It's all about change. I'm not really good with change on a yeah, general I, basis. <laughs> I am not good with change. <laughs> so there's that. Um, it's weird because 
growing up, I always thought I was awesome with change. I always loved like rearranging furniture. Yeah. I always wanted something new, and and that had nothing to do with me like loving change. The change that I'm talking about is change in in regular routine, and and like I'm just not good with it. Like, do you think like it's like a that. control thing? Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I just asked it. So like, is it a control? Oh my god, yeah. yeah. But you know. Um, I mean, what does that mean? Controlling. I mean, if you can control it one way, why can't you control it the other? And really, what does control mean? Because really, do we ever have control? I'm super weird. That's I always weird. think the universe knows. I. I'm told from my mentor to surrender. That's what he keeps telling me. So I just lost a job. Good morning, I'm I know. Sorry. You. <laughs> Thanks for. I'm exhausted inside, so I appreciate you like taking all. Yeah. I'm not taking it on. It's your stuff. It's somewhere well, no, in the lake. Take it, take no, I don't it. want it. <laughs> but I don't like, want it. What? <laughs> <laughs> My producer's like, don't give it to me either. It's uh, gone. It's gone. It's gone. Clear. We'll clear um, it yeah. Sage it again. I need all the sage. Uh, my mentor, he keeps telling me to surrender. Mm-hmm. He's like, you need to learn to surrender. What does that mean, though? So he said that he told me that when I lost my job, I was losing it. And he's like, okay. You were pissed. You were I charged. Was, I was so mad. I was like, I left everything that was safe for this, this opportunity. I felt worthy. I felt that I had a purpose. I finally had value. I didn't have to rely on a man. But did it have anything to do with the job? It had nothing to do with the job. I was just in a place where I was like, in yeah. Your element. So I was in my you element. Yourself? So then when I lost my job, he was like, Big do deal. what makes you he's like who cares big deal do what makes you happy and then it's gonna come he's like surrender just to the universe let the universe do what it does best and he's like if you just do what makes you happy every moment choose to stay in your power everything will come that's right and i'm just like okay i'm just gonna go yeah. with the flow yeah. I'm, okay. I'm gonna go with the flow <laughs> and like like my Zach, I like my Zach. Like my Zach. My Zach. I called him endlessly. I'm like, I have to fire you. I can't do it. And he's like, oh, oh good. He's like, we the got this. right here. He told Balance. me. Balance. Like that is that. the word. Yeah, and that's every time I call, he's like, I I would get an exciting news. Like, oh, guess what? Oh my gosh, I'm and he's like, easy girl. Yeah. And then something low would happen. Like, oh my god. Yeah. And he was like, all right, we really. One of his main things with me is to keep me here yeah. at all times. Mm-hmm. Like what you said. And maybe that's why your colors represent you. It's because you want to be neutral, so you stay neutral. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, and that's your happy. And I know some people want me to be colorful and everything, and why just, why can't I do that with my energy? Why do I have to do why, that? Why can't course? your aura be enough? It, it is. Like, that's what I'm saying. I think it is. It is. Um, 100% it is. You know, I just, I don't know. I, I, I'm too, prepared to be true to myself so that's about it for me yeah so so we you touched on it a couple times yeah. this is an exclusive thing because nobody knows this about you but you brought up Riki. i did uh i do not advertise <laughs> it <laughs> no that was totally like uh in the moment zone we're gonna speak from the heart and yeah allow it so i am weird <laughs> uh and i'm okay with that I, I don't want to say weird. I love the word weird. Do you? Yeah. It just means different. Okay, it but different means, in the best way. Of course, all positive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge empath. Um, and I'm able to connect into energy, be a vessel of light for human beings to help heal themselves. So I don't advertise it. Nobody ever knows it unless they're drawn my energy to my room for me to teach them or mentor them. Uh, I do see clients specifically for Reiki that don't sink. And, um, you know, I am, I have tapped into a lot of, a lot of beautiful, uh, gifts that I think everybody does have only I've tapped into them and, and it's creating positive change in people and I love doing it. It's very fulfilling. I love doing it for musicians. I love doing it for people that are healing, that pe- for people that are going through traumas. I love doing it. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychotherapist. I'm not, I don't give any medical advice, but what I do give is life advice and, and you know, coaching, 
people how to sing and allowing their energy to be completely beautifully aligned with the universe through the vessel of light it's just for me I feel so blessed to be able to do it and every time I do it I get emotional and I think you know you just change that person's life for the positive and that's what keeps me going so yes I am a Reiki practitioner um, I am an intuitive <laughs> I am a vocal coach I am a friend, a mother, I'm a spouse, I'm not a wife, but I'm a spouse, um, and I love every moment of it. I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a dog owner, <gasps> did you see that? Yes, I did see that. I have a German Shepherd. <laughs> we have to have our German Shepherds meet. Oh, do you have a German Shepherd? Yeah, and he's a police dog. Ooh. And then he, be he was so, he got fired because he was too docile, so he made him an emotional support dog. So when I get like anxious or I get like really sad or if I go through like any trauma or like he feels like I'm in some sort of illness or yeah. pain, so he smart. just comes and like, yeah. and he just Mine's cries and I'm like, I know, don't take my pain. <laughs> Mine's in the puppy stages. He's only like three and a half months. He was born March 24th. So he's like, what, three months, four months? Uh, he's in like, I have bites all over. Just cover. Like, oh, there's one right here. That's my, he's like took a chunk of my leg um obviously he's not attacking me he's just playing with me disclaimer he's a puppy with puppy too puppy, uh, land shark <laughs> uh, he's getting good he's, he's getting there he's getting there he's learning we take him to puppy school on saturdays and jay and i are like we're really on him and he's a good dog i just i'm a germaphobe right so mm. I've, this is my the third time i've tried to own a dog this one's sticking it's hard I know. I go through it every day. I wake up every morning thinking, can I do this? Um, my dog is the cleanest dog you'll ever meet. <laughs> he gets a thumb wipe when he comes in and paw wipes. I love it. Um, and uh, I brush him every day and he gets groomed quite often and I give baths and he's a, a good dog, but he does have to be outside because that's where he goes to the bathroom and it's really difficult for me. The like it's hard. I have a really hard time with it. The first few, the first week, I think he brought in two ticks to the house. That's and, that's a lot. And I had Lost a it. huge anxiety attack, like one of those anxiety attacks where you throw yourself in the shower and cry in the bathtub. And do you do, do you change your do you change your temperature? Do you go hot and cold to shock your system? That's no. what I do. No, I just sit there in the hot <laughs> just wallow in it. I just do it. Like, <laughs> Ultimately, it's just a freaking tick, like you know. And I wish my brain. But it's Lyme disease too. Like, there's a I'm reason. I'm not worried about Lyme disease. So what are you I'm worried about the tick? Or <laughs> it's like an infestation <laughs> of my own or something. It's trauma, right? It's trauma. It's, right? trauma. it's trauma. I had like bug trauma in the past, and it, it just like, oh, like look at me. Do I you know see, you're just like my my, my whole energy just changed. So I'm gonna change that in front of your cameras. It's gone. No, it's not really. It's, not. it's actually. <laughs> hey, listen. You're gonna be authentic. You gotta be authentic. I know. And be authentic. But like, you see that? Like, this is an everyday thing. Like, I am in the best place of my life, um, for who I am right now. Yeah. And that means that I still have anxiety when it comes to germs. And everybody's anxiety is different. You know, and dogs and, and animals. And I mean, I can't say I'm not an animal person because I love animals, but am I, a, you know, a, an, a, an animal owner? And that's a different story in my brain, right? And, and, and he has slept in my room on the carpet. Like, it's been okay. I mean, would I ever let him in my bed? No, I couldn't right now. I mean, I can't ever say never. Um, we're really lucky he's lost his crate. Right. For reason, but I did like lots of light. <laughs> Quick, go in the way. <laughs> lots going on. <laughs> um, and it's like having a toddler, right? I know. It is. 
and my kids are all older. Like my youngest now is going to be thirteen. Like, my oldest is going to university. Isn't that crazy how time flies though? Yeah, it's crazy. So you were saying before that um, while we like wrap it up for today, mm -hmm. you said that you love like being there for people, you love giving the advice, you love helping them through life because everybody needs a mentor, everybody needs a support and a safe space mm -hmm. and that's what, that's how I'm surviving right now yeah. is because I have people I like think you. right now in the world, I think that's what's important. I think it's super important for everybody to have an outlet um, and to know that there are people out there for them um, that are completely open and unconditionally available for them. Um, we don't want to give our energy away, but we can be there to hold compassion for others right now, especially right now. There's so many different opinions in the world. There's so many different, um, you know, facts and what's the, what's really true and what's not. Like that's a question that comes up every day. Uh, I think it's just ultimately what you feel in this moment in time. I keep saying that because I keep bringing it back to right now. Because as you can see, my whole energy has changed now. I was just talking about something traumatic for me. Now it's changed, and I like. I just change from what I'm, I'm not affected by it. Yeah. I'm not affected by what happened to me at home today. It's, I'm not affected by what happened yesterday. I'm not affected by, you know, anything. I'm just living really right now. Um, I don't know. I don't even remember what I have to do this afternoon or tonight or tomorrow. Um, but ultimately like, you know, I really just want to be one of those people that makes a difference and in so people's lives. If you could give like one advice, mm, that's a good one. and then after that, tell everybody where they can follow you and take yeah. this moment oh. to tell everybody everything. Okay. You want me to talk about me? About like where they can get their books, where they can follow you, okay. all that. Sounds good. I can do that. Oh, one piece of advice. Oh, all right. Um, that's a tough Okay. Uh, well, okay, I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna preach what I just did. Slow down and take a breath. One piece of advice is look at the difference between being reactive and being responsive. In whatever energy, yeah, that's nice breath that you just took there. Like, if in any circumstance, just exactly like we were there, you just kind of gave me a really hard question and I just had to take a, 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 a breath and, and think, okay, just breathe. Allow your body to process what is happening. Uh, take a moment, respond, hold love, come from a place of love. That was told to me, oh my gosh, years ago come from a place of love and you'll never go wrong it'll never bring negativity it can't you're holding love it's a positive yeah. uh, so definitely that and balance your voice if you're gonna sing yeah. i have to add that in right? yeah okay yeah. so where they can find me so my website is simply teresanachita.com or the vocal compass.com um i have social media it's at Teresa uh you can put <laughs> Um, insert logo. <laughs> yeah, insert, yeah. Oh, my new logo is so great. Thank you to Thinker Marketing. I'm just going to give them a, a plug. They were phenomenal to work with. Um, but yes, my, um, so I can be, I'm on social media all the time. I'm there all over hours. I teach all over the world. So I'm up at every hour of the day teaching in different time zones. But uh, I'm here for you. That's all I want to say is I, I'm here for you. The studio is here for you. We're excited to be opening on Friday and running our camps and our preschool's opening and our amazing teachers are coming back and I just can't wait to uh, see everybody obviously under the proper protocols, but yeah. um, I'm gonna say that. But uh, ultimately our, our arms are open and, and we're ready to, to see everybody with love. So thank you for thank inviting you. me on your show. Oh my gosh, thanks for saying yes and being here. Like when I had to think about all the people that I wanted, mm -hmm. I chose people that shaped me. And I know it's crazy that it's been two years ago, but I literally feel like it was I love yesterday. How you use shapes. Get it? 
the shapes. You'll, the shapes. you'll know if you read my book. I know. Um, I want to say something before we yeah. go. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Your natural beauty is <laughs> beyond. <laughs> like it's so it suits you. Like you look Thank beautiful, you. and you're gorgeous with makeup on too. But I'm just so Aww. grateful that you chose to be your most most authentic self with me. Thank. You. And I wanted to point that out because. I, if anybody, I wanted just to be with you because that's what you embody. It's like the woman empowerment, self love, and I was like, this is authentic. K. Yeah. This is like I threw on my clothes, I put my hair in a ponytail, and I was like, let's just hang out with Teresa. And you know what? People are gonna probably very much resonate with you because you're being authentic, and yeah. they get to be authentic because there's no judgment. There's absolutely no, no tie to that, and it's all positive. But thanks for having me. Thank you. You're